Hey guys, I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and today I have got your MLB Rapid Fire for this Thursday, January the 29th. It's Christmas in July, and you can get any capper on our site for the rest of 2021 for only $599. With me, I've got expert handicapper Sean Higgs. How's it going, Sean? Pretty good. Exciting time, baseball fans. We got trades going on as we're doing the show. Yankees get Gallo. It's a A's making deals. I, this is I like this part of baseball. Like especially this year, just seems like there's a lot of activity. So good day, good day to be sitting around watching the sports. Yes, yes, indeed. It's also a time that a lot of things are happening. So you really got to kind of. Keep your eye on the ball, for lack of a better term. It's also a great time to pick up premium picks from the expert handicappers at Picks and Parlays if you don't have time to pay attention to the millions of trades and things that are happening right now. Um, so we're going to try to help you guys out with some free picks today. Higgs, we've got three games with lines. The late two don't have them yet, but we're going to cover that. We don't need no stinking lines, all right? We're going to cover them anyway. Um, so you ready to get this party started? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to start out with the Brewers at the Pirates. Brewers are the big favorite, minus 175, and we've got a total of eight on this one. What do you got? Brewers making deals. Making deals are taking a push here, and why not? You know, again, good pitchers. I mean, it was Woodruff and Burns, but, man, Peralta's numbers. This guy, 18 games, he's got a, I mean, just why no Cy Young talk for this guy. A 229 yeah. ERA this season. Unbelievable. 140 strikeouts in 102 innings. So you know what I'm looking at. Pirates are it's a fire sale. They're trading starters, they're trading relievers, they're trading all-star uh, infielders, but it's a big line, right? 175-ish, 180. Run line minus 104. Why not? Let's go. I said today, I had I got the Brewers going tonight. I'm like, you know, I know it's 150s a high line, but I'd lay it even, you know, once. 180 is really hot, but this pirate team, you got to know the guys are getting dealt. They're totally uninterested right now. Maybe a different club after August 1st, but for now, they're just coming to the ballpark with a change of clothes because they're going to be on a plane half the sky. So I just go Brewers wrong line. I'm on the Brewers tonight, too, minus 145. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just the better team and one of the best starting rotations in baseball, if you ask me. Um, yeah. So up next, we are going to be talking about the Orioles at the Tigers. Tigers, whoo, what a game on Wednesday. Big scoring, big scoring against the Twins. Now they're at home against the Orioles, minus a 155, totals nine and a half. Rapid fire away. Yeah, and I, and I was like, you know what? I kind of like the under today in this Detroit mini game because I know Jay Happ's terrible, but you know with these lineups, who knows what you're going to get on a getaway day? Yeah, it's a, a football game breaks out, and you know the Lions catch the win over Minnesota on field goals. <laughs> I mean, wh where the I, listen? What am I going to say? I I was wrong. I, yeah. So I, in this spot. I said on the show, I'm going to do probably a run line here, right? Probably 120, 125 plus money on a run line. Wells for Baltimore, 10 innings, 10 hits, uh, five earned runs. This is what you're getting, a six walks. And then off of that outing, you think that maybe that, that, that'll carry over for Detroit at home? I, they should probably score some runs here. I'm not high on the Orioles, right? We know the Orioles are going to be bad. And the Tigers, even though they, they got swept there on KC and – this series was a little up and down for them, right? They haven't been that good since they had a nice little win streak there. But Mize has been solid. Solid home. He's going to give us his five-plus innings, give up a couple runs. But let's go Tigers here. I, I almost want to come in on the over because after this outing, you're kind of like, wow, the bullpen looks terrible, everything. I like the – I got the one line, but I'm also probably going to take the over here just based on what we saw, you know. So probably over and play here at nine and a half. I can't talk you off of that. You have been playing a lot of Orioles overs also this season. Yeah. I've noticed um, on midday money. So but listen, that the bullpens, the, the starters come in, they give up four runs in, in five innings or, or six runs in two innings. And then the bullpen comes in, gives up another three and they hit the Orioles could hit actually. They, they hit the ball. So, Oh yeah. The so overs have, I don't know. It's, it seems they hit a lot when we have them out there. So I know why not let's ride the train until it, you know, <laughs> That's all you could do. Oh, all right. <laughs> so up next, we have got the Blue Jays at the Red Sox. Uh, this series, they were postponed. Then today, they played a doubleheader. So now they're coming in on day three of this. Uh, Red Sox are a minus 110. The total is at 10. What's your play on this one, Sean? Yeah, this is, a, you know, it's a tricky one. Because party wants to take Ryu, because I'm, you know, 
Rodriguez could get hit a little bit. Both teams could hit. Both team. Both teams could hit each other's pitchers, right? I mean, I'm going to go the under though. Give me the under ten, just because, like you said, we had a rain out. We got a doubleheader. That's tiring and doubleheader. Even though they're seven innings doubleheaders, it's right. still a long day at the park. And I'm yeah. going back and you know, here you come again. Two pitchers. You know, Rodriguez started out bad. He's pitching better. Ryu was good. He got bad. He got good again. Still a solid guy, you know. So you got two hard thrown guys in here. Lineups that could be maybe a little time. I'm going under. I, as much as I see these offenses being two of the best offenses in baseball, I'm going to go under the ten here. I like that too because everybody's going to be on it over. I, feel I, like. think, I mean, I think people are going to think over here, but I'm just thinking double header, and you got two guys who could come in and shut down. You know, I mean, four to one in a in a seven inning game. We're thinking, all right, if they play out, maybe it's six four. It's an over game, but. I'm still sticking with the under. All right. Well, up next, we are going to talk. Um, so we don't have lines out on this one yet, but we've got the Colorado Rockies still at the San Diego Padres. It is going to be Joe Musgrove for the Padres. We're not sure about Colorado. Should be Freeland. We don't know. What's your take on this one, Higgs? Yeah, I was just doing a refresh, seeing if I could find anything. Nothing, no line yet. I mean, who are we kidding? Musgrove's going to be a $2 fave here. He's been pretty solid. At home, he's been really well. Rockies on the road, we know. What do they got? 11 wins on the road, not that good. But what's the run line going to be in this one? 130 range? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to say Padres and you look run line, but maybe a total. Maybe the total sitting at eight ish. We could look at it over there because I think Padres are going to hit a little bit. Bad day today. They took a loss, so, you know, but now you get a bad team coming in here. Get healthy. You made the trade for Frazier. Let's go. You got to win. I've said this before. You know, you guys are, they're playing like, they're in first place by six games, and they they got a clean run here. They, they might be a wild card if they if they're lucky right now. So yeah. you got to beat up these bad teams. Get it done. They didn't do. I said this last time. They lost to the Marlins. You know, what I mean, but so I'm going to look at the run line here. If it's not too juicy, and then obviously the over. Yeah, I'm with you on that as well. And I say that all the time too. You got to beat up on the teams that you can beat up on. You got a yeah. team that's one eleven on the road. You need to be beating this team. It's like in college basketball. Well or college football too, you got to win your home games, you know, like you got to win your home games um, in some of these big ones. So we're taking the run line on the Padres there. Last one, still no line out here either. The Oakland A's are at the Angels. We know it's going to be Montas on the mound for Oakland. Uh, not sure about at the uh, Angels yet. So what do you got going on here? Yeah, you know, they go TBD, that guy. He's everywhere. He's on all these teams. But <laughs> he's got to be a, a billionaire. But I, I'm guessing it's going to be Alex Cobb. That's who should be up in rotation. But we'll never know. You won't know until – of course, we'll, be, we'll get off the show in an hour into doing the, uh, the editing. He'll you know, come up as an odd on here. But right. I, I'm probably going to look to the A's here. You know, they, they just picked up Marte. Obviously, it's going to be exciting for them, right? They get a little juice in the lineup. Like, all ah, right, we're actually spending money here in Oakland. It's not like Billy Bean making trades and saying, you know, pay my vending machine soda so my guys get free soda for the next three years. they got to be excited, right? So I'll lean to Oakland here. Montes pitched a little better. I like him a lot, so I'm a little biased towards him. But the Angels could hit, so we can't underestimate them a little bit. But I'll lean Oakland here. And, like, again, we got to see what the numbers are. But my first initial thought is I'm going to take Oakland, a little pumped up with Marte coming to town. And, He's got to be excited getting out of Miami and going to a team that's got a shot at a, a division and playoffs. You know? Yep, there you have it. Okay, so we're taking the A's in that one, price depending. <laughs> so we're yeah. not laying anything over crazy in the minus 200s, but I don't think it's going to be that. I don't crazy. think it's, yeah. Angels have been the favorite this whole series, though, haven't they? I know they were yesterday, and I'm pretty sure they are today. So the well, Oakland's finishing up with the Padres, and the Angels are playing the Colorado Rockies tonight. So oh, shoot, see. you're right. You're right, 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 right. Okay, my bad. Don't listen to me. Okay, let's edit that part out. Got it, got it? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Sean Higgs. You can find his premium picks over at picksandparlays.net. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Bye, Higgs.